Hi Mythology team, my name is Dhamini Cortez and I'm Paola Guzman. In this video, we're going to talk about anonymity and how you can use it in all of your investigation projects coming up in the near future. To have a better insight of the material, it's important to know the definition of anonymity. Anonymity refers to data collected from respondents who are completely unknown to anyone associated with the survey. You can also have anonymity approach while observating in public places where you cannot identify the observed. We would like to share some tips for you to understand better anonymity in your projects. One we found very helpful is the name John Doe. This term or name it has been used for, to identify someone who is unknown. The primary method researchers use to preserve anonymity is the use of pseudonyms for participants and also for the location of the research. That is why the first tip is to know the definition of pseudonym. Pseudonym is a fictional name assigned to give anonymity to a person, group or place. With this technique, some issues may come up. Researchers have a hard time knowing how far to take anonymization, whereas research participants hold different views about the desirability of anonymization, because some participants would like to be identifiable in the whole process. Our second tip is to ask, why do we need to care about anonymity? Anonymity is important because it helps us to protect individuals from public exposure when sensitive information is revealed during the study. We would also like to, take, to make sure our participants are out of risk of persecution, of a bad reputation and financial and legal consequences. Another example of pseudonym is when you have a lot of people in a study whose name is start with a particular letter, let's say D. Those whose characteristics are the same in age, gender, or others. So researchers will, will be keeping the first letter of their name and they can easily remember the pseudonym and they don't have to refer to them as participant number four or user number four. Our fourth tip is how to write about anonymity in proposals. First, participation in the survey will be anonymous. Second, responses to anonymous surveys can be traced back to the respondent. Third, no personal identifiable information is needed. And four, responses are combined with many others. But hold up, because last but not least, we would like you to make sure you understand the differences between anonymity and confidentiality. While in anonymity, you don't collect identified information, in confidentiality, the information collected can only be known by the investigator or the research team. However, this information must be prevented to the knowledge of outsiders. We hope that this video has been helpful for you in anonymity in your different research studies. Thank you.